about our favorite or non-famous warning freaking label. They're freaking everywhere. Yeah, yeah, uh, well. I was watching television the other day, and some guy actually took a nap on a bed, and they actually had at the bottom, done uh, done on a closed course by professionals. Do not attempt at home. Do not, he's trying to take a nap. Hey, you shouldn't take a nap without reading all the instructions. And, and what about some guy reading, walking across the street in a, you know, crosswalk? And it's a professional stunt guy. Yeah, but it's, and it's it's always like in that you're doing the perfect voice. It's always the quiet voice of the really fast micro machine guy, where it's mm-hmm. like, um, you know, this may cause. It's like uh, you should buy Cialis today. This may cause, and they just rattle off every new every number of things that could happen to you in a given day. You could be hit by a car. You could be run over by a bus. Mm-hmm. Hit by a train. If if you live in Outer Mongolia, you mm-hmm. could be killed by a Mongol. Yeah, and if you lived in Africa, you could be mauled by a lion. Yeah. Yeah, well, that, that that has a little asterisk next to it, but it has to be lived by my wife. But, but yeah, I mean, you oh, and yes, and as I said before, you know, uh, that death is sometimes on some of these. How bad could the, you know, that like the like, I don't keep on saying like like like. Um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> we're going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> we're kind of struggling on this one, guys. <laughs> no, that the the symptoms that you take the pill for are that when you take the pill are worse. The, co- the side effects are worse than the, the mm. symptoms that you took it for. You might have, uh, you know, hair loss since you're taking a pill for hair loss, and it says, you know, may cause, you know, death, it may cause vomiting, it may cause, you know, loss of arms, sexual transmitted disease, sexual transmitted disease. Take disease. another pill, which mm. could cause death, and then you've basically created a vicious circle. Yeah, but then you started to take more pills to take over the vomiting and everything else. Gonorrhea and right. I mean, it's just it's all a ridiculous cycle. But you know what? The prescription people are making tons of money because if you buy, maybe this is maybe we've been looking at this from the wrong angle. See, we're maybe looking at it as the consumers. Yes, maybe we should be. Maybe they were, did this on purpose. Yeah. Maybe they put the warning labels there and say that you know that may cause dizziness. And then they could put a little asterisk at the end and say, we recommend that you take blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. And, then, and then they may cause, you know, um, dry mouth. We recommend this. you take, not and drink more water, no. but you have to take a pill for that. Either, either drink more, more Coca-Cola, mm-hmm. which might be owned by the same company that owns the prescription company, or watch ESPN, which could be owned by ABC, which is owned, you know, everything is a circle. And so I'm sure that everything works out in the end for one of those big conglomerates. Do you think this is the Illuminati, or do you think that this is more of a... Uh, Skull and Bones, you know, uh, conspiracy. I would say Skull and Bones. Mm-hmm. I would think that, I mean, I don't know. It's it's all a conspiracy. Everything, is, apparently, in the world. You never did your conspiracy show. No, that's the 26th week okay. anniversary. We're so, going to do that next week. So we got conspiracy show next mm-hmm. week. We have favorite, favorite and most infamous sex scenes from mm-hmm. teenage horror movies. But conspiracy, yeah, conspiracy theories. I mean, they give you a pill for... Erectile dysfunction for something very minor, mind which you. which makes your hair fall out. Right. So then you buy the hair the growing. Hair, then and you have to take the pill for the hair falling to keep the hair from falling out, which is another pill for for dizziness. For dizziness, and, and then you, you to keep yourself upright so that your hair can grow up and you can not have erectile dysfunction. You have to, and then that pill causes death. So you have to take the pill that doesn't cause death, mm-hmm. which is like aspirin, right, or Tylenol. Mm-hmm. But though I think they do cause death too. Right. Well, I mean, I guess we're all, we are all going to die. Well, maybe it's maybe I mean, it's from the moment we're born. We are going to die. I, uh, this, I'm 100% positive on this. That's a, good, that's a good guess. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, maybe it's illegal. I, I, how come I didn't get the warning label when I was born? I don't know. Maybe, maybe a should, warning label on your head? Maybe it I says, should sue the doctor for that. I wasn't, I wasn't notified that I could You properly warned that you're going to die. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that, but, that the, minute, that, the minute that I was born, the doctor should have said to me, you, you, know, will you, die. you will this is a warning label and you will die. And, and, th- and then, then you would have lived your life a different way. I could have lived I could have been a rock star. But instead you grew up with this idea that you were gonna live forever mm-hmm. and then you were just 
shocked into the fact that someday I thought I am going to. All of this will die. And you won't. I, I'm. I'm just going to make this guess, and you can take me on this bet. And we already made a bet, you know, about snakes on a plane on the one that we didn't mm-hmm. save. But um, <laughs> my bet is that you will die. Uh huh. Um, how old are you right now? Oh, I'm 39. So you will die after the age of 39. Mm. Uh, if you want to bet me dinner. We well, I, it. yeah. Well, that's technically. Well, I mean, I still have what a couple more months to go. So. Well, we'll see. <laughs> but by, by the way, if I don't make it, how, I will how take over. I will, uh, <laughs> I will collect on your bet. Uh, how, how am I supposed to? Uh, I'll tell you what. To as, on as soon as hey, if you die before you turn forty, I will give you a couple bucks at your funeral. <laughs> and if if you don't, then you owe me dinner. <laughs> I think this is so one-sided. <laughs> and it, it pretty much works out into my benefit, but. Yeah, maybe what, you what should are, have been warned as a baby. What are some of the warning labels that you see that are just really funny, that just really tick- – uh, how about the coffee? Where, where yeah. It, where it's just on the inside where it goes, you know, contents may be hot and keep you up at night. Is it is it on the inside? Because if it's on the inside, then they're expecting you to spill it on yourself. Oh, that's right. No, I'm on the outside. On the outside, right? Yeah, on the outside where it says, you know, coffee may, may keep you up. May that, cause heart pap- palpitations. Yes, the coffee has caffeine in it. Uh, I really like I really like roller coaster mm-hmm. um uh, warning labels uh-huh. like when you get on a roller coaster I don't know if you ride a roller coaster oh, or not. Yeah, if, if you have a ha- heart problem if you have a heart problem obviously if I have a heart problem I'm not going to an amusement park mm-hmm. by the way there's also warning labels for you before you walk into a 7-Eleven that says yeah. if you have a you know if you're afraid to get robbed then you don't <laughs> I mean, it, no no because they have the microwave yeah oh yeah definitely but I think that I think that they do need to put a warning label that says possibly, possibility for being robbed at certain places mm-hmm. you know 7-Elevens uh-huh. liquor stores you know, anywhere, actually. I, 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 I'm wait, I was waiting for the big one. To I mean, I was robbed at Blockbuster, so I guess that... Video mm-hmm. stores? Apparently? Video stores, yeah. Apparently apparently, people like movies. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, you know, I like the, um, you know, the don't ride this while you're pregnant. Mm. No offense, I've never seen a pregnant, you know, I've seen a lot of pregnant people. Well, I, I think I think that they might be pregnant. But the thing is that, you know, if you're pregnant and you don't, you don't know yet because you could be, you know, like two days pregnant, I mean... Would you have would you have been in violation if you went on the roller coaster ride and you would have been only and you know? Well, I think it's more like they don't want you to get a, like they don't want your pregnant belly to be crushed in by the thing. But obviously, a person with a pregnant belly beyond like what four months well, is going to be not as going to be a nice sized belly. They're probably not going to be able to sit in the seat anyway. Is that because of the the harness that comes over the top that has, that has to I secure guess. you in? Mm-hmm. And you know what? It could be because they don't want you to get overexcited. But let's see, you're going to have a baby, mm-hmm. and you're going to scream, and mm-hmm. you're going to probably cuss. Mm-hmm. Say and words, blame your husband. And blame your husband and say that I wish you could have been in this spot instead of me. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you're going to get excited anyway. Yeah. And most, most women, when they get – all women when they're pregnant, they're excited about a baby. So there's excitement right there. So, I mean, it can be the excitement factor. So I'm, I'm assuming that it's just someone got on a roller coaster, mm-hmm. pregnant, pregnant and sued. lost a baby, mm-hmm. and sued. Well, no, they they claim that they they claim, that, they they claim that the baby is now, you know, could brain be brain damage. Or brain damage. And and if and if, and if, he, if he this rides, is now if, he rides roller coasters for a living. And, and so. he is the roller coaster tester now. If you're listening and you were pregnant and you sued the roller coaster company because uh, something that happened to your baby, you can write to TR at Roadcast or Adam can, um, Adam at Roadcast, <laughs> preferably at Adam and at if, Roadcast. And if, you're, if you're emailing Adam, make sure you put in the um, text that says. I was pregnant, and then I'll just delete it. I'm not going to read it, but you can try. You can you can email me at least at least try to get uh, by one. By the way, through. if you if you've seen any really funny you know warning labels yeah. like you know like straws that say do not poke an eye or knives that say do not use for cutting. Yeah. If you see an if you see a, a warning label that is absolutely ridiculous like they, you know, a gun that says do not shoot. Oh, do not point at your do not point at people. Take a picture of it. Mm-hmm. Email it to us. Or there might be some on the website that you know where they have yeah. where they say you know. Uh, you know, furniture. Do not put over your. Do not put bed over your head. And send us that link. Or mm-hmm. if you if you you know if happen happen upon a porn website and it says not suitable for children under eighteen, mm-hmm. which is it's pretty obvious. Yeah. Let us know and we will check these porn sites out. We'll link them to our website. Yes. And then get arrested. Mm-hmm. Yes. No. no. Uh, we, we we we're not going to do that one at all. No, all right. probably not. Touch that one. We're, we're not going to touch that one. You're kidding. Yeah. Um. What else? What are some of the funny? Well, chainsaws that they do not uh, do not use. Do not use on the lights. <laughs> uh. Yeah. The um. Do uh, televisions that say do not throw. Yeah. Balls that say like uh, bowling balls. Balls or bowling balls that say do not play with when mm-hmm. you're under ten or something. Yeah, I think the only thing that you know, I think the only thing that doesn't have a warning label on it is like a giant six foot Nerf ball that. Then but it might it might say do not put in mouth but oh. like if you can fit a giant six foot Nerf 
ball in your mouth. Send uh, send us your email. <laughs> that I guess. wonder if Nerf actually has warning labels on them, like the Nerf football. Do not use it. I think that all. I think that there is that if if there is anything that doesn't have a warning label on it, then they've probably been sued before, and then they've put a warning label on. I assume that everything in the world has a warning label on. We talked about mattress warning labels. Yes. They even put on a mattress: "Do not rip off, not resellable." Yes. So, I mean, everything has a warning label. I'm sure picture frames have a warning label. Mm-hmm. We know computers not, have a warning do label. Do not put real person behind in picture frames. Yes, do, do not. Only for glasses, only for pictures only. Pictures only. Um, do not put, yeah, I mean. Do not put small children. Do not, put, do not use bloody remains in picture frames. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think that there are rules for everything, like do not stick finger in light socket. That's a pretty obvious one. Only, only use light bulbs. Yes. yes. Do not use hand. Yes. There are several warning labels that probably could be constructed, like do not do eat not t- on like a metal thing. Mm-hmm. Would be uh, important. Do, do, does alcohol beverage actually have like a warning label that says may cause you know drunkenness? Um. Or is that pretty much is that like no, coffee? No, I, think, where, where I don't think they have may cause drunkenness. I do think they say may, may cause death. Well, how about may impair driving? Yeah. Well, I don't see, and that's the problem. See, that's why these kids are drinking and driving because there weren't warning labels on their alcohol. Maybe we should maybe we should go into the business of putting warning labels on glasses that are used in bars. Yeah, like, like on your wine. You know, when you get served a glass of wine at a bar, mm-hmm. it actually says may and cause may impair driving. Do mm-hmm. not drink if planning on driving. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. And then we will make a fortune. A fortune. A fortune. Because then the place couldn't be sued. No, if they had a warning label on every pe- like if they had a warning label, if you had a warning label on your hand yes. that said "Do not punch." Mm-hmm. Hey, you can't. I can't sue you because it's said on my hand. I can't punch you. What about your other hand? Could you punch you with the other hand? Yeah, I mean, there's got to be a warning label on it mm-hmm. to keep you from doing it. If you don't have a warning label, both hands now. Huh? <laughs> I just screwed myself from punching. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then what? I, I don't know. know. It's just it's warning labels, man. If you know of any war, if you know of anything that doesn't have warning labels on it, email us. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna end up this segment. We're at the 11 minute mark. Right? Yeah, and then we're gonna drastically try to come up with something we can talk about yeah, for right. another 11 minutes. Well, we get, we've got two days to figure out what we're going to do. Yeah, that's true. So we will hopefully come back at you with something a little bit more interesting than warning labels on your fist. Thanks for listening to another fine episode of Roguecast. For more information on the topics, guests, or hosts from this show, please visit Roguecast.com. The content of all segments of this show is copyrighted by Roguecast.com.